From the evening of May 21st to the early morning of May 22nd, a total of 12 hours, a series of earthquakes occurred in four places in mainland China, namely Yunnan, Sichuan, Qinghai, and Shanxi. According to the China Earthquake Network measurement data, from 8.56 p.m. on May 21st to 8 a.m. on the 22nd, 421 earthquakes occurred continuously in Yangbing County, Dali Prefecture, Yunnan Province. The largest earthquake occurred at 9.48 p.m. on May 21st, reaching a magnitude of 6.4 with a depth of 8 kilometers. The official Chinese media Xinhua News quoted earthquake experts as saying that Yunnan has now formed a main shock aftershock type earthquake sequence. It is unlikely that an earthquake of magnitude 7 or larger will occur in the original quake zone in the near future, but there may be still earthquakes of magnitude 5 or 6 or larger. The Gusu Evening News quoted researchers as saying that the Yangbin area is located in the Red River Fracture Zone, which is an earthquake prone area. Historically, there have been many earthquakes in Yangbin, and within 100 kilometers of the epicenter of this earthquake, there have been 34 earthquakes of magnitude 5 to 7.9 since 1990. According to Chinese official sources, as of 6.30 p.m. on the 22nd, the earthquake in Yangbin County, Yunnan Province had killed 3 people and injured 28. 70,000 people were affected, and more than 13,090 houses were damaged, 192 of which collapsed, with preliminary economic losses of about 310 million RMB. After the earthquake, Dali activated the Level 2 emergency response. This is a major natural disaster. The earthquake had caused many trains to stop running in the direction of Kunming to West Yunnan. The area was mainly in the poor mountainous areas of the Yunling Rift Mountains in the Hehui River Basin, where houses and production facilities were severely damaged. It was reported that there were two damaged locations in the Shunbi section of the Dabo Highway, one damaged spot in the Shunbi section of the 320 National Highway, six county and village roads were broken, and three bridges were damaged. In addition, 1,073 pools and sillars were damaged, and 602 households lost electricity. The Dali Prefecture authorities said the earthquake occurred at night, with 12 counties and cities across the state feeling the vibration significantly. A total of 380 resettlement sites have been set up in the most impacted Yangbi County, with about 85,000 people displaced throughout the area. Jiang Gang, who has lived in Dali for five years, told China Cover News, the ancient city of Dali is about 20 kilometers from the epicenter. The tremor was very strong. The 9.48 a.m. tremor was the strongest, and the house shook very loudly. The people in the old town of Dali are now heading outside, and everyone's spending time outside. I'm also going to spend the night in the car. Mr. Lin, who lives in Dali, said that after the strong tremor on the night of the 21st, he and his family came to the Pearl Square, which is seven minutes away from the Dali railway station. It was already crowded with people, and Mr. Lin said that he plans to temporarily set up a tent and rest in this square for the night. China Seismological Network measurements show that a 3.4 magnitude earthquake occurred at 1.38 a.m. on May 22nd in Xunyong County, Luzhou City, Sichuan Province, with a depth of 10 kilometers. A magnitude 7.4 earthquake occurred at 2.04 a.m. Beijing time on May 22nd, 2021 in Madoi County, Golog Prefecture, Qinghai Province, with a depth of 17 kilometers. The epicenter of the earthquake was located in Huanghe Township, the origin of the Yellow River, 38 kilometers from the Madoi County, 175 kilometers from Golok Prefecture, and 385 kilometers from Xining City. Because of the high altitude of the Qinghai Province, especially Madoi County that has an average altitude of 4,350 meters, CCTV reported on Weibo that the temperature in Madoi County is very low at around minus 7 degrees Celsius with snow so some of the victims were being housed in temporary tents. It was reported that after the earthquake, the entire province felt the tremor, and Xining City was especially heavily hit. In addition, according to the Earthquake Bureau of Golok Prefecture, the earthquake was strongly felt in Madoi County, Huaxinxia Town, and the Huanghe Town. The earthquake also caused the Yongtong Expressway Wild Horse Beach Bridge and the Huajiu Expressway Changma River Bridge to collapse. 
The major highways in the province were also damaged and deformed and are being repaired urgently. As of 10.50 a.m. local time, a total of 453 aftershocks, large and small, were recorded. There were 45 aftershocks of magnitude 3 or higher, 8 of magnitude 4 or higher, and 1 of magnitude 5 or higher, the largest being 5.1. According to the latest official news, as of 10 a.m. on May 22nd, a total of eight people were slightly injured in Madoi and Manchin counties. Some houses and livestock sheds were damaged, and some roads and bridges were damaged to varying degrees. Another netizen said that after the Qinghai earthquake, the surrounding provinces such as Gansu, Sichuan, and Shanxi felt strong shocks. The students in Lanzhou City in Gansu ran out of their dormitories and gathered in open spaces. In 2010, a strong earthquake of 6.9 magnitude occurred in Qinghai, causing 3,000 people to die or go missing. The China Seismological Network determined a magnitude 3.6 earthquake occurred at 7.59 a.m. on May 22nd in Xiangnan County, Xiangluo City, Shanxi Province, with a depth of 17 kilometers. In addition to earthquakes, there have been frequent weather disasters in China recently. We have previously reported on tornadoes in Wuhan and Suzhou that killed several people. On May 20th, the city of Lianzhou in Guangdong Province was flooded by heavy rains for many days. The city was swept by flood waters, and pedestrians were swept away in a flash. Thousands of vehicles were soaked in water, and underground garages were flooded, and some houses collapsed. On the same day, there was heavy rainfall in Jiaoping County, Hezhou City, Guangxi Province, flooding local streets and houses.
At Rongjin Station in Xiangxin, Tujia, and Miao Autonomous Prefecture, a small car forcibly passed through a flooded road and ultimately failed, with unidentified casualties. On May 20th, a sudden hailstorm fell in many places in Henan province. Heavy rain wrapped with hailstones rushed to the streets, and the ground was instantly white. Locals said this kind of weather is once in a hundred years. Wheat collapsed in many places, causing incalculable damage. Floods, tornadoes, earthquakes, and the coronavirus break that originated from Wuhan. Why are there so many disasters in China? In ancient traditional Chinese culture, there's a saying that heaven and mankind are united, and connection between heaven and mankind. When there are abnormalities, people, especially the ones in power, have to reflect on it, offer sacrifices to the heavens, and even issue imperial edicts for sins. Since 2020, the Chinese Communist Party has fallen into a more serious internal and external crisis, with an internal economic downturn and a dark tide of power struggle among various factions. Externally, the wolf warrior diplomacy has made the international community more united against the hegemony of the Chinese Communist Party, resulting in a diplomatic defeat and suppressions from the international community. Under the multiple crises, the CCP's regime is shaking like the recent unexplained shaking of the Sage Plaza building. <laughs> 